Again and Non Gay is a podcast from James Barr and Dan Hudson. Sex, bums, and Dan being a lad. Welcome to a gay and a non gay. Hi. Hi. Oh, God, here we are again. So um, I've actually spent all day with Dan today, <laughs> yeah, that's just which true. is ridiculous. We've gone from, like, being not friends to actually being, like, you're kind of like my dirty little secret. Yeah. Like, I've never tell my other friends I hang out with you. In fact, I just put a tag on. I put a post on Facebook that, where we were together, but I didn't tag you. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realise until just then as I was speaking. Yeah, I didn't tag you. What, what you just tagged yourself? Yeah, I just literally put myself there. Well, thanks for that. No, that's fine. So I, basically, I thought you have to, I tagged a photo, I'll put a photo of you on Instagram. Did you actually? I didn't tag you in it, but yeah, I Well, did. there we go then. So well, it's the same thing, isn't it? No, because you didn't put a photo of me on it and then not tag me. You just you just pretended that that today today never happened. So today, Dan and I went to a pop up In and Out Burger in North London. Yeah, this is like an LA burger chain. I mean, they're basically McDonald's of LA, of the West and the West Coast. But yeah, they were doing like a pop up. So we were like, let's go. Um, it was actually Dan that told me about it. So props. So we got there and the queue was enormous. And we didn't even get one. No. We were there we were for like an hour and a half, got yeah. to the end of the queue, and they were like, sorry, that's it. And then we went to Five Guys. <laughs> that, 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 was pretty, that was pretty much the morning. Cool story, bro. That was literally the morning. Yeah. Um, um, I felt ill for most of the afternoon after that as well. I actually, I did have to go and have a nap. Um, <laughs> I had a good hour and a half nap <laughs> in between. Why what? do they give you so many fries? There's no, they, there's no need. You order small and you still get a whole bag full of them. You don't have to eat them, though. Have you seen them? They like, well, yeah, I mean, they yeah, fill the cup and then they throw in another shovel. Have, have I seen them? Well, I, I ate them. I ate all of my. No, have you seen how they do it? How they fill the bag? <laughs> but yeah, well, they overflow the. They the, deliberately the like throw in. Like I don't know why you'd ever order large, but I can't imagine how that comes. That's like a whole. And they're, and they're walking around with these big bags of potatoes the whole time as well. But you don't have to eat them all. Yeah, but you do, don't you? Well, I do, yeah. I mean, I ate most of there. yours and most of mine. They're there, aren't they? They're I good. Didn't, yes, actually, that's a good point. If there are any other gays that are worrying about their bods, don't worry. I didn't go there. I didn't fully have the chips. No, you didn't. But I did it's have a normal sort of double cheeseburger thing. The cheese is so good. Are we still, we should probably not be talking about this anymore. Anyway, we spent the whole time in the queue for in and out <laughs> <sighs> We spent the whole time in the queue. Uh, I don't even want to go there. Like, why didn't you do it? Why don't I do what? Why don't you just t- tell everyone what's pissing you off? Well, basically, the, this podcast you're... I, I do you, think you need to vent, to be this honest. This podcast you're listening to uh, is is a non-awards nominated <laughs> podcast. Um, basically, we, um, or I, put in this podcast to uh, an a, a awards <sighs> very, ceremony. A very prestigious uh, awards ceremony. Very prestigious. With Rick Astley performing. Rick Astley is performing. Um it's, uh, it was formerly called the Sony Radio Academy Awards. It's now called the Arias. Um, I put us in for a nomination. <laughs> uh, Talks about it with James. Why are you and, laughing? And, well, <laughs> Why did you laugh when you say, I put us in for a nomination? I don't know, just because it's, it's funny that we thought that we both were pretty dead certain. Well, no, okay, so let, that like, we were what get happened was, no, you were like, oh, look, they've announced the new radio awards. No one's going to know about them because they're new. <laughs> and they've got a podcast award in there. No one's going to apply for that because no one will know that category exists. Um, let's do it. We've got a good chance of winning because we'll be the only one putting our <laughs> podcast in. That's what you said to me. Right, well, and I was like, okay, yeah, cool, let's do that. Not, not in so many words. But yeah, kind kind of like that. Also, um, if you it's um, basically the, the podcast the podcast the podcast category <laughs> is so strict that it excludes most podcasts. Yeah, because apart... it has to be bespoke content. Like it has to be new. I can't have gone on the radio first. Yeah, so and... it has to have been created just for podcast. Yeah, which in a, a, a award ceremony for radio people eliminates most most people, right? Yeah. And the second thing is the thing was so so bad. Well, like, let's just give an example. It would eliminate Chris Moyles, right? Yeah. Because his content yeah. in the podcast is the content that goes on his radio show. Yeah. So right. it has okay, to be cool. bespoke. This is definitely not the content that goes on my radio show. So we're fine. Yes. We were allowed to enter. Yes. Um and the the thing was so bad, so badly promoted. Oh, I should say another thing, one of the major um, uh, that is pretty shady. No, what if it was so badly promoted. It was so badly promoted. It was so ungoogleable, Google, Google, <laughs> Googleable, that it took me a good fifteen minutes to find 
And if I can only just be bothered to do that, most people can't be bothered to do that. So okay. I thought, basically, nobody's going to know about this. Yeah. Most people are exempt from entering it. Yeah. We're going to get in on a technicality, which is there's, <laughs> there's only going to be like five or six nominations, so they're going to have to give it to us. Did they give it to us? No, they didn't. No, they, they didn't. didn't. They no, no they didn't. We didn't get, didn't get a look in. If you're interested, the uh, the episode we put out a few weeks ago, like the best of the season, that was actually the awards entry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just was. reused that. So that's, you know, that's what we gave them. Maybe they just, maybe like they weren't interested in a podcast about douching, Dan. I like to think that we were the seventh, um, <laughs> the only seven people entered and we were the we were the seventh and they could only give it to six people. I... Um, but no, well, but, James is trying to paint this, by the way, as I, I did all this. I was really upset that we, were, we weren't nominated. I didn't do anything. It's a, I no, didn't no, do no, anything. No, I did, I did make it. But James is trying to make out um, that he wasn't bothered about it and that he hadn't also committed himself we were going to get nominated for those exact reasons. <laughs> James, James, like myself, was glued to the, the announcement. I was watching it. 12.30. I was watching my friends Wednesday. Scott Mills and Pandora waiting, <laughs> waiting for the announcement yeah. and it didn't come. I thought best podcast, I thought we've got this one. I back. dropped out immediately at that point. Did you turn off? No, I was in. It was a really bad sport. I should have been looking at all the other interesting, cool radio people getting nominated for stuff. I was just so annoyed. <laughs> I was like, close. Yeah. I, well, I couldn't. I was at a, the conference where it was being announced, so I couldn't really. I'd love to. Um, I'd love I to watch to... the stream. I'd love to be the admin person watching the stream and like seeing people drop off and yeah. knowing exactly who those yeah, people yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they yeah, must yeah. have looked at that and gone, again, a non-gay. I've just left the uh, left the broadcast. So, yeah. Oh, Dan. And it's it's quite annoying, so we didn't get nominated for that. Um, it's actually... what, But what's really funny is, although Dan is saying, yeah, I thought we had a, a good chance, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't book a train ticket to Leeds for the night of the awards <laughs> ceremony, and Dan did. Dan booked a train, a return ticket to Leeds in advance on the date of the award. I can't deny that. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm now. Well, the reason I did that, I thought, oh, well, if we get nominated, the, you know, the train's prices are so high to the north that I thought, oh, well, may as well book it now <laughs> because if, if we get nominated and then I have to book it, it's going to be like five or six times the price. So I thought, sensible idea, <laughs> book it now just in case we get nominated. No, no. But, it, the wording was, uh, I've just, look, you got, you sent me a message. It was like, <laughs> I've just booked a ticket for Leeds for the night. It cost me like, how much was it? £37. That's, not, pounds even, that's it. not even cheap. Right. So yeah, Dan messages me and says, FYI, I've booked a £37 cheap return to Leeds on the night of the awards because we're going to get nominated. So do the same. <laughs> Because we're going to get nominated. I, I, I didn't exactly say that, but yeah. I mean, but... I don't know what podcast you're listening to, but I don't think you're listening to our <laughs> podcast. Well, because there's no way. Well, either way, I've now. I'm Are now... you going to go? Well, I've, yeah, I don't want to waste the thirty-seven quid. Do oh I? my god, that's so, so embarrassing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you. everyone that's nominated in Leeds will be there, and me. Well, hey! I've never won an award. The people that are, only people that have won awards win awards. Could we not? Well, that can't be true because no nobody was it born is. winning an award. No, I'm sure they sit there at Oscars HQ and they're like, so who shall we? <laughs> shall we give it to Leo? And they're like, no, he hasn't won an award. Don't give it to him. What is Al Pacino the one pushing <laughs> out Oscars? I don't know, but I know that what? you don't win an award if you've not won them. It, can you give me an award? Um, I would like you, Dan Hudson, to offer me an award right now. Okay. It can be for anything you want. Anything you want. Can I have a drum roll? Or something. Um, okay. Uh, the award for the worst timekeeping in the London area goes to. <laughs> Chase Marley! There you go. You had to do that, didn't you? you well, had to get that in. well, I wasn't that late. You were late again. Fuck off. Lads, lads, lads. If you ever have any questions, then you can tweet us at gay, non gay. Yes, you can. Or you can. No, that's the that's only thing you can do. Oh, and also, um, we really want to get our iTunes uh, rating up. So if you're listening to this, <laughs> please don't be mean and write horrible things. No. Please write nice things so we can get rid of our We troll. have some nice ones, but the there's one negative one that's bringing the average down. Like, right, massive, okay. I haven't massive. checked them lately, but I know, the that, I know your girlfriend messaged me saying, please tell all your friends to write nice things. Yes, so um, I'm not sure whether she meant do that over the airwaves particularly, but... Um, no, but no, you've done it, whatever, so... so. We need to, yeah, we need to get that average... We need to get our average, average rating average, slightly average, up. Average, yeah. Um, I have just moved house. <sighs> Is that the end of the sentence? No, it's it's really... I don't, wanna, I don't know whether I should talk about it because... Um, 
No, I don't think they're going to listen, but what if they did? It's, <laughs> I went out on a night out with them. When we f- are they, who, who are them? Your house My new housemates. New housemates. My new housemates. Okay. Um, and I met them off spareroom.co.uk. Not spons. That's just me telling you. And uh, not a what? <laughs> it's not a sponsorship. They don't, right. They're not paying it's me any money. Spons. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I've never Kim heard Kardashian that term. thing. It's what Kim Kardashian was. Anyway, right. So I met them off spareroom.co.uk, and I was like, yeah, these are really cool. They're really nice. I'll get on with these these girls, and they are. They're really lovely. One of them works in sexual health, <laughs> so right. the stories are horrific. Um, it, I haven't actually had sex since I moved in because they were just they've traumatized me. Really, so like, literally, like they actually have. It's horrific. There's like a super gonorrhea going around. The one that was around a little while ago. Maybe it's come from. It's apparently it started it's, in Leeds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> apparently so. Did you start that I one when what, you lived there? Um, no, I didn't start that when I was up there. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's um, it's it's start it's started in Leeds, but it's in London and East London. Anyway, so what was I getting at? Uh, this girl was like, "Why is it loads of gay men that have like all these?" STDs. Why do I see so many gay men coming through? There's like gay men are way more promiscuous, right? It's all a gay man this, gay man that, and I was just like, oh, like, what? Like, no, aren't we like above this sort of rubbish? Like prejudice. What? This is the girl who works. Yeah, in so she, that's a really weird thing for her to come out with. Well, I know, and I was just like, I don't know why gay men have, and, and I was literally being like asked, like interviewed about gay men in general, and I was just like, I don't really feel, I don't, I, just, I suppose I don't really feel comfortable with it because why? Should I? Well, I just don't think I should have to answer those questions. And also, I don't think it's true. I mean, but she's on the front line. But I personally, I just find it a bit... I, I, think, I think there's an element of truth to that. It's a massive generalisation. But the gay world, I think, was ahead of everybody else with apps and stuff like that. So meeting up for casual sex or whatever, which now I'm led to believe everybody does, seemed to originate first in the gay world world right i guess grinder was probably the first like because that was around like a good five that was probably or six... the first app where you meet you met people near you i guess i don't think yeah you're probably right we probably got that first before you know even like plenty of fish came along and made an app that had location-based services on it so i guess you're probably right but that doesn't mean that we're i don't think it means that we're more promiscuous i just think it means that we're more in control of what we're doing and i i think there's probably just as many straight guys out there like doing like non-gay people doing um i always correct straight to non-gay just because it's the branding of the show yeah. but who gives a shit <laughs> sorry i um <laughs> i imagine there's loads of straight guys out there who are like um who are doing the same thing but they're not getting checked whereas we are yeah. actively in control and know what's happening to our bodies because we're more responsible and that's we've pro- learned that's, those lessons that's you, what i think did you not explain that to no because i just sort of shut down i was like i can't believe i'm having these questions yeah, I that's... can't believe I'm at this point in my life where I'm having to ask, answer these questions to people. Like, how do they not know? Like, where have they been? Yeah. And I, and I know I live in a bubble because I'm in, like, London and everyone's sort of... Like, you go on a tube and you see gay people, and I bet if you live in Carlisle or wherever, you don't. But it still struck me as a bit odd, like, someone doesn't know. Yeah. Like, doesn't know the correct way of, like, dealing with it. I should probably bring it up with them, actually, because it's really put me off them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you should... But I don't exactly know what I should say. I, might, I can't even imagine what you were saying in this situation. You were just going, all oh, right, yeah. And I know it's annoyed me because sometimes when I get really annoyed, I don't know if you do this, but I shut, I hide the memory. I don't know how my brain does it, but I will literally bury my head. And it's, I'm finding it difficult to even remember what the conversation was because I know, because that's how much it affected me. But I guess they were like, I felt like I was being accused of, I felt like I was being slut shamed on behalf of the whole gay community. That's how it felt. That's literally how I think I felt. Okay. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what I felt well, like. That's... So whatever she said, that's how I felt. It was like, why Yeah, why do gay people have so much sex? I don't know. I'm like, what? Fuck off. Like, what? What? I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> because sex is like a human thing, yeah. and that's what we do. Like, everybody has sex. And I'm sure she didn't mean it maliciously, but it really pissed me off. Do you think that as well, then? You clearly do. I don't think that's the case now, no, but I, I think there probably was a time where it kind of was true. But then... Because of... Like, is, but then aren't you, just, you guys just jealous of that? Like, Well... And um, actually, no. Do you know what? I don't know if you're right. I don't think it... You said this a minute ago, and I don't think it is that. I don't think it's that. I think it's more that men, let's just say that, want to have sex, right? It's kind of what we want to do i think right men just kind of inherently want to have sex all the time but women don't so women stop it from happening all the time yeah so unless you're going to go and get like a prosy 
you're not going to be able to just have sex straight away because you'd have to buy a drink or go for dinner. Yeah. Whereas gay men, men, let's just say men, will have sex with each other, whatever. Like it's fine. No one really cares. Like I care because I'm a bit more of a like a bit more of a romantic inside. I mean, said girl then, <laughs> offensive. Um, but I grew up with my mom and my sister, so I'm a little bit more in tune with like the feminine kind of thing. Yeah. But. I think a lot of most, like, I think a lot of men are just like, yeah, bring it on, let's just have sex, we're men. So, I, like, no one would say no. Yeah. And I think that's why my housemate is seeing more gay men in her clinic, because there's more sex, because it's just men. That's a good theory. You should definitely suggest that to her next time. I bloody will, ne- mate. Ne- ne- <laughs> next time, yeah. Also, I guess gay people have kind of pioneered, <laughs> like, things, yeah. things like uh, threesomes or... What do you mean pioneered? Having like a threesome or having like a, a three way relationship seems to sort of kick off. Can I just ask you a question? In the gay Maybe. world first. Steve Jobs pioneered the iPhone, gays pioneered threesomes. No, but it. I, I mean, I'm kind of not basing this on anything at all, really. So tell me if I'm wrong. But I think that that kind of like having. A, like a three-way relationship or a threesome, I think, seem to be going off in the gay world a lot more. I don't know. Going I, off I, in the gay world. Am I wrong? Um, I don't know. I don't know because I'm not. I don't. I'm not in your world, so I don't know. Are you telling me that you don't? You've never had a threesome? <laughs> I wasn't telling you that, but I guess I am now telling you that. Yeah. You haven't. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I have, and I think it's probably normal that I have and you haven't, I suppose, so maybe, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word pioneered. <laughs> but, well, I mean, maybe you should. Maybe that is the future. Well, yeah. Maybe that is the next thing for, for non-gays. But it is now, isn't it? Now, now everything is, like, nothing, nothing is to, the only thing that's taboo still is paedophilia. Everything else is now. That's not taboo. That's illegal, you fucking idiot. <laughs> well, yeah, so therefore it's also taboo. But no, every- it's not. What do you mean? That's not what taboo if it's illegal. That's gross. Why did you even bring that in here? What do you mean? I can't believe you said that. Doesn't mean it's not taboo. <laughs> what, it what are is, you on about? It it's isn't an... actually taboo. People talk about it quite regularly because it needs to be got rid of. Yeah, but they don't. It's, if anything, it's not a taboo. It's like <laughs> let's talk about this. Okay, this let, is a huge issue. Let me rephrase that then. The only thing that that people don't indulge in. No, with, I'm not even letting you say the word again. Okay, no, without no, Dan. without people going. No. That's the only thing. No, that was a topic I didn't expect to get onto. But no. I'm glad we did. Wasn't in the running order. Way. Talking of uh, house issues, I'm having a bit of a a mare at the minute. So my ha- my flat is on Airbnb. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't, that's, there's nothing funny about that. I just that. think that's funny. I imagine your flat to be like men behaving badly, lad pad. I just don't know why anyone would want to stay there, but I am led to believe that's not true. Well, I invited you round, and I was you didn't come, so you'll never know. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's on Airbnb, so I am accepting bookings. So I'm, I'm getting bookings, but I'm, getting, I'm literally getting so many of them that I can't, I can't keep in touch with. I can't wow. keep track of them. That's great. Um, because it is very much a nice flat, contrary to what you think, and... I've had like I had like three or four people stay, and the reviews are really good, which may of me and the flat, which means that they now stop flying in at, a, at an uncontrollable pace. Could you also ask them to review the podcast? If they, if <laughs> well, <you> ask reviews. <laughs> okay, <laughs> carry on. Uh, so it's it's difficult to know who who to say yes to and who to say no to. Yeah, I think you I think you'd be an awful Airbnb um, hoster. Why? Because you would just veto everybody you'd be like no this person isn't gay they're not coming in that's so not true i'd probably be the opposite no i wouldn't i'm joking you wouldn't i'd, I'd just be worried that i end up sleeping with them i mean if you want a good laugh you should definitely go to the airbnb help forums where every possible problem that's happened to with airbnb people oh my has, god what has it been what? discussed like, the best one is obviously people who end up having sex with each other oh my god and then There's what whole forums and what happens well, I mean, any number of different scenarios can happen, can't they? I don't mean, I don't mean un, un you know, I need I mean to Google that consensual sex. Obviously. Of course, um, you always go down this weird dark route, Dan. It's like, well, no one was thinking that. No one was thinking <laughs> paedophilia either. I feel like what I'm, are you talking about? I feel like I have to clarify a lot of stuff. You, we pulled a face as if as if it was. I was talking about non consent And I don't even. I'm getting down a hole. I can't. Um, Let's not go I with the holes either. Okay. Let's step I, back away from the holes. So have you had, have you, um, obviously you have a girlfriend, so you haven't, have you been tempted? Have you had anyone stay that's pretty hot? And how do you, who do you know how to accept, like, who, how do you know who to accept? Are you going on looks and stuff? Because I'd definitely be looking at people's profiles being like, oh, they're hot, they can stay. 
I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't really. Um, even if I was single, I probably wouldn't take someone who was like really attractive because it's just creating a problem, Why? isn't it? No. You don't want a bad review, do you? So you don't want to end up having sex with them. Amazing. And cre- <laughs> creating some, you know, some issue, and then you get a bad review. Oh my god. So what it's just kind best... of issue are you talking about? What kind of issue would you? Are you worried you might have? I don't know, but it's best to keep your b- business life and <laughs> nice your personal life. Nice throw pillows, but he came too quick. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, so who, who's it's been to keep business and pleasure separated? So who's been coming round? Uh, well, no, I'm, I am I am quite strict with who's who's coming. Who who there's, if, there's certain like there's certain red flags that you go that these people are not coming into my house. Right. I find uh, this so funny. What right. uh, that you have red flags? Well, well, like if, so there's basic things like I just it, want to remind everyone about who you are. So you rode on the, the Victoria Line topless once. With your mate from a Limp Biscuit gig, yeah, that's the kind of person Dan is. Yeah, let's hear who you wouldn't accept. Well, the obvious ones, you know, if they haven't got any reviews or verifications, then okay, obviously, you know, that kind of stuff. Obviously, anyone with a girlfriend or a boyfriend that they mention explicitly is probably not going to get a booking. Why? Because Are you, so I you... don't really, I don't want to end up with another person in the house that person will move into my house without me asking them you were stressing me out on the train back from edinburgh because you were you were like oh this guy who's holding a beer in his profile is like he, i he wants to stay and i don't know whether to let him or not did he stay no why i t- because he was because he had not only was he holding a beer he was holding like a two pint glass full of beer he was he was drinking it in his profile photo yeah he had an england shirt on and he was called macca right so, so would you want someone like that staying in your house I don't know, but I mean, I'm not you, so I don't really get it. Why wouldn't, like, okay, why, okay, so let me, okay, let me think. Like, so if, say there's a man um, with, like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> say there's a man dressed as a turkey in his profile photo, would you, would you let him stay? No, probably not. Why? Because I don't want him, I don't want a man dressed as a turkey round causing, you know, <laughs> ha- <laughs> causing, causing havoc. It's like a job interview. Okay, what about a man like with some dogs? Uh, no, oh God, no. absolutely not. Absolutely or a not. cigarette. Like, if I know that they smoke, they're not coming in my house. What about like a basic? You know, one of those guys that would be like near a, near a village called like Fanny or something. No, 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 no. Why not? Because it's just, it's, <laughs> it's too it's too like laddie. I mean, no, how, it's not. Okay. How ironic because I'm such a massive lad. What about a man with like a huge cocktail? Is that the same as a beer? Um, you know, like one of those massive, like, fishbowl cocktails? No. What about a guy like, um, oh, I don't know, like, I'm just trying to think of this off the top of my head. What about a guy, uh, you know those people that go and visit the, what if he was, like, visiting the Guinness factory and took a picture of himself by the big Guinness sign with a big Guinness? No. Why? Because it's just a bit obvious, isn't it? And Wh- they're, Why? They're probably an alcoholic. <laughs> Dan, I have just been scrolling through your Facebook profile, looking at your Facebook profile pictures and describing all of them at you. And you said that you wouldn't... What? And you've just said you wouldn't let any of those people, a.k.a. yourself, stay in your flat. What the hell is wrong with you? What, so they're, they're all photos of me? Yeah, there's all of the photos I just described are you. <laughs> really? Yes! Show me the photo of, of of me just as a turkey. Oh, I know the one you think of. No, but that's different because that's 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 a turkey on my head. It's not me as a turkey going. It's worried. not different. Yeah, it is. No, it's not at all. Here, here you are with a massive cocktail. Yeah, but I'm. Um, yeah, okay. Here you are drinking a huge inflatable, <laughs> inflatable champagne bottle. Here you are with a turkey costume on your head. Dan, you just basically said you wouldn't let yourself stay in your own apartment. Wow. Well. You need to work on your life choices. <laughs> I need to move out. If you want more, subscribe at gaynongay.com or on iTunes or, you know, whoever your favourite podcast supplier is.